What's up, you guys? Welcome to another episode of Jessica's Ratchet, a prison, a cooking show. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to transform what you would be served in county jail on taco day into a freaking bomb ass county jail taco. Prison's a different vibe. That's not what we're doing today. If you guys are new, hi, my name is Jess. I'm a recovering addict who served time in prison. My whole life story is in the description box down below. So feel free to fall down a YouTube rabbit hole. If you wanna follow me on any other social media platform, TikTok, uh, Patreon, it's $2. It's only ever gonna be $2. All of that is linked down below. And I also have a vlog channel. So go check that out if you wanna see all the random stuff I do. All right, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so county jail, this is what you'd be served on taco day. Yes, I got a tray. I mean, would I even be a prison YouTuber if I didn't have a jail tray? So they call that salad. Really, it's just lettuce. Sometimes for other meals, they'll serve you shredded lettuce with a little bit of salad dressing on top of it and they'll call that salad, so what I would have done for some vegetables. Okay, moving on. We have some beans, we have refried beans. That's kind of what the meat looked like. And then we have rice. You get two tortillas. I have a chicken packet seasoning under there. You don't get that. Um, and then in the big spot that's empty, there would be some kind of weird hamburger meat. I don't have hamburger. Um, not a big fan of browned hamburger meat, but um, this is essentially what you'd be served in county jail. But we're gonna make it so much better with the stuff we bought on commissary. Okay. Of course, we need Cheeto puffs and flaming hot Cheeto puffs. One soup of the picante chicken flavor. Jalapeno Velveeta Cheese. You can find this at Dollar Tree, and every time I go, I get every single one that they have. I'm not even sorry about it. Should have got there first. And maybe mashed potatoes. Now, it would depend on what my commissary situation was. I didn't have money regularly on my books, so I had to hustle. I would do eyebrow threading. I would steal contraband and then sell it on the unit, uh, whether that was skull, like the chewing tobacco. Um, sometimes I would hijack that. Um, I even stole like a brush one time from the nurse's station. And yeah. Fun fact about me, I don't brush my hair. I don't know if that's like weird, but like I kind of have like naturally wavy hair. It's not super curly, but I don't brush it. So I didn't steal it from me. I stole it because other people really wanted a hairbrush. You can't buy a hairbrush. Can't. You can buy a comb which we don't really use as a comb. And then you can buy like a, like a flat top kabuki brush. I don't know if that's what it's called. Um, it's like, it makes your hair like super like, you know what I mean? Super like straight, straight back. I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know what it's called. Um, but yeah, so the variations of things that I would do to make these burritos would depend on how much I hustled, how much commissary I had, if my bunkie wanted to go in, which means like we would put our ingredients together to make one meal. But essentially I was always trying to take this and make it a million times better. So taco day, about to get a whole lot better up in here. So I have my I have my Cheetos, my flaming Hot Cheetos, and my soup, so I'm gonna crush all this up, and I'll see you in a second. Okay, so I have that pretty well crushed up. If I was in jail, I would have crunched it up in this, just like smash it around. Um, but we're not in jail today. I have been in facilities that the correction officers don't want you taking the food back to your cell for later um, for a lot of different reasons. They don't want you to try to make hooch. Uh, they don't want you to uh, eat it later and not starve at night. I don't know. I don't really know the rules behind it. They'll give you some crap reason like, oh, we can't have food in our cell because of bugs or whatever. But um, all inmates can buy a bowl with lid. That's the name of it. It's like this tan bowl with like a clear lid. It's like a Tupperware container mixed with a cereal bowl, if that makes sense, with a lid. 
So yeah, it's a cereal bowl with a lid. That's the better way to describe it. So what I would do is I would bring my bowl with lid and my spork um, to the day room where you eat in county jail. In prison, you go to a, the chow hall and that's why it's difficult to bring food back to the unit because you can't just take a bowl and go to the chow hall in prison. In county jail, you're eating in the unit where you live. So it's different, very different. Um, but what I would do is I would take my bowl with lid and put the ingredients that I want to save for later, take it back to my cell, and I would make this in my cell. Um, it's always tricky depending on the correctional officer. You think it, you think the correctional officers would be consistent? They're not, I promise. Okay, so you guys see in a lot of my recipes that I have pickles as a like as my only vegetable because you don't usually get vegetables. So, but today we have lettuce because they served us salad. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take all of our stuff from our tray, especially that rice. I could buy rice in prison, but I couldn't buy rice in county jail a lot of the time. So I was always happy to get rice in jail. But you gotta remember every facility is different. Every state is different. Like every menu is different. I should not have just shaken that with the thing open. Okay, so we're gonna put our beans and our refried beans in here. What's really funny is people would look at me weird. This is what the meat, this is refried beans, but this is what the meat looks like. Meat, okay. Um, super random, but a lot of people would look at me crazy when I would do that, because they're like, why wouldn't you just eat it now? And then they'd see me shaking up a, a chip bag, making different things, and they'd be like, what is this chick doing? But I always got side eye, you know? I was always like making different things and people were really curious, like what is she whipping up now? Um, you wanna mix this up really well. But I was a jailhouse and prison chef. It's very generous. Chef is a generous term, but I was always trying to find ways to make the food taste better. I'm a huge, huge fan of food. Now in jails and prison, the food is not seasoned, it's not flavored, it doesn't taste good. Um, not complaining, just letting you know that there's no flavor in this stuff and it's really unfortunate that um, they don't try to give a girl some flavor. <laughs> I don't know, I know I, I broke the law and I went to jail, blah, 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 but I'm just describing to you. It's really, really bland and it's difficult to eat. So only if you consume every single piece of what is on your tray will you have enough calories for the day. So I was always just, um, trying to like choke it down. You know, there's a lot of stuff that I, I don't like, but if you don't eat it, you go hungry, period. Um, a lot of people would, when they first come in, you know, they can't eat, they're nauseous or they're detoxing and they don't feel good. And then this food is served to them and it just makes it even worse. And you know, at first you can't eat the food, but then you get used to it and you're like, word, mystery meat day, my favorite day. All right, I'm gonna mix this up the best that I can. Now, I don't like cold tortillas. Uh, so what I would do is I would take my bowl with lid, hot water, and I would just kind of set it on top of there so it would steam a little bit. But in county jail, in my, in my experience, we didn't have microwaves. And the one time that I had a microwave in New York, uh, it got taken away. So yeah, I always had to cook like this and that's okay. You know, if you learn how to be innovative. Some people would put mashed potatoes in it, like I said. I'm gonna skip that today. To put my, put this in there. Now I have one soup. So what I'm gonna do is I'm only gonna put like half of the seasoning. And then I'm gonna save that seasoning for my next jail meal so that you have flavor in your food. So no one is throwing any bit of seasoning away in jail. They are saving every little bit of it. So even though there's only half of my seasoning packet here, that goes a long way. Don't underestimate a ramen seasoning pack. Y'all know the drill. Oh, by the way, I'm going to be making some prison holiday snacks in the next Ratchet Prison Cooking Show, so stay tuned for that. I'm gonna take my hot water. It's important that you don't use too much hot water. Um, you just know with time. Yep. 
perfect. And I'm gonna take my Velveeta cheese, put that in the hot water so it heats up. Put that aside. Um, this takes about 20 minutes. Now, <laughs> I've done this a lot, so I can eyeball how much water you need. Um, but this is kind of where you want it to be. So I know it looks gross. Get over it. We're in jail today. Um, you don't want the water all the way up to the top, in my personal opinion. Um, you want it like just over. Like we could, we could actually use a little bit more water. So use just a pinch more. So see how it's it's not quite to the top of it. There is some some breathing room there. And what I would do in jail, prison too, but I would wrap it in a towel just to keep that heat in there. So. There are a lot of things that you can buy on commissary. Um, everything's expensive, but you could buy chili, like a little pat. See how this comes in a, a pouch? I don't know. You could buy chili uh, that also comes like this, and you heat it up the same way, just stick it in water, or if you have a microwave at that unit. And then of course, I would mix Fritos and cheese in it, and anything I could find off the tray to make like a Frito, chili Frito, I don't know what it's called. Um, but I would do that all the time. Protein is a high commodity, you know? Um, so we don't have a lot of sources of that. Yes, you get meat. Oh, that's what I was gonna say. Um, hold on. You, you can buy peanut butter, tuna fish, uh, peanuts on commissary. So that was always like kind of a priority as well to make sure that I was getting enough protein. Um, a lot of facilities serve soy meat. So you guys ask me all the time about allergies in prison or if you're a vegan or if you're this or you're that. You can be a vegan in prison. They have a vegan menu. Um, it's not great. It's not great. Uh, but in a lot of facilities, like in New York, they serve soy meat. So y everyone is on a vegan diet technically because it's soy. Uh, fun fact, Freeway Rick Ross is a vegan. Uh, I interviewed him a long time ago, about a year ago, and he was a vegan for a long time in federal prison, and now he's home. He is still a vegan, so you can absolutely do that. If you have a food allergy, like a peanut allergy, uh, you wouldn't get a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, right? So they would just make you something different, like bologna sandwich or like soy something. Like it would just be a different option, but there are not a lot of options for that in prison. That's not motivation to not break the law. I don't know what is. Uh, they also have a diabetic diet. So you'd be on different things. Um, there's also diabetic snack where you have to have like a sandwich in between each meal or what have you. So there is diabetic snack call in prison. So yeah. We're gonna take our lukewarm, definitely not hot cheese. Put the cheese on the tortilla. If you don't like spice, I guess you wouldn't like this, but I like jalapeno. Um, I would also put jalapeno in here, but you know, I kinda wanna rely more on a lot of the stuff that we have on the tray because that's more often than not, that's how I ate because I didn't have a lot of money. So, so I would get two bags of chips. Now I wouldn't get big bags like this in county jail. You can only buy smaller bags in my experience. Um, there are some things that they would sell in bigger bags like pretzels, but every facility is different. So I'd get small bags for like 75 cents a piece and then one ramen noodle for 25 cents. So essentially this meal would cost me $1.25. $1.25 to make this meal. So, oh, and the cheese. Okay, so let's say $2.25. That's still too much. Okay, so let's say, so with the cheese, we'll say that this meal is $2. But to me, $2 might as well be $200 because it, you know, it takes me time to hustle, so. Now, this does make more than I can fit in our little taco here. So I, what I would do is I would save the bowl with lid <laughs> and I'd put the rest of this in the bowl with lid, or sometimes I'd even just cook it in the bowl, depending on what I was doing, um, and I would save it for later. We're gonna take it out, and y'all are gonna be grossed out because you're gonna think it looks gross, but I don't care because it slaps. <laughs> it really is fire. Okay, and here we have a transformed county jail taco or burrito, whatever you wanna call it. 
I just don't like the raw tortilla. I should have cheated and heated it up. I forgot our salad. <laughs> but yeah, this is freaking bomb. And to make it for $2, all right, so that is it for my broke bitch meal in county jail. Now, just remember that yes, this video is laid back, but I am in no way glorifying or glamorizing going to jail or prison. There's nothing cool about it. This is no way to live. You know, when you're in jail and you go to prison, you're in survival mode. And living like that day to day causes long-term issues. I struggle with PTSD and anxiety and depression and depression and anxiety I was just born with, but PTSD I was absolutely not born with. But when you live a long time in survival mode, it has residual effects. So yeah, it, it's just no way to live. So I'm gonna end today's video here. As always, I love you guys. Stay safe, stay sober, whatever that looks like to you, because there is no wrong way to recover. And I will see you in my next one. Maybe I should have cleaned this table before I sat down. Oh my God, what was I just gonna say?